What up YouTube, Soul Food SF here. Happy Friday finds to you all. Hope you guys had a good uh, couple of weeks. I've been out of it for a minute, but I'm back. I had a, a really good haul, some crazy sneakers. The snaps were very average. A couple trinkets and some cool clothes. Shout out to TVS, the whole fam, everybody doing their thing. All the solo people, every single one of my subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, so thank you for tuning in and watching my videos. It really means a lot to me. A um, couple other shout outs. Retro Hungry, I just subbed to his channel. He does a lot of video games. I know nothing about video games, but he started to do some clothing pickups. And uh, I liked what I saw, so shout out to him. Uh, Saucy Suave, he's got a really cool channel. Um, his, video, his videos don't get enough views, so check out his videos. And uh, You My Beach, he does uh, some different um, varieties of thrift store finds, but they're pretty cool. All right, let's go through some of this cool vintage gear I got. Uh, first thing, I got this tank top, Detroit Bad Boys, the Pistons 88-89 Central Division Champs. Um, it's a size XL. I might keep this. There's light cracking, but it's uh, still pretty cool. Got this Raiders 1984 World Champion Super Bowl uh, t-shirt. It's by Screen Stars, so you can see how old it is. It's a size large. It looks dead stock. It looks like it's been sitting in someone's closet for forever. A really nice San Jose Sharks goalie mask shirt. Uh, it's by Nutmeg. Um, the graphics on this are crazy. They really don't make shirts um, look like this anymore. It's just just a really ill shirt. It's by, uh, you can see it's two bucks. It's by Lee Sport, size large. It looks brand new. It doesn't, it feels not washed ever. All right, a couple champion jerseys. We got this Cal J Kid jersey. There's slight cracking on the front. Um, it's a size 48. Beautiful jersey though. The back, the five is perfect. You can see that. Uh, these college champions are pretty hard to find, actually. Uh, really cool John Starks, Golden State Warriors, size 44. It's got the lightning bolt side. Um, pristine. I got this yesterday, actually. So, really nice find there. Uh, vintage Elton Brand, Chicago Bulls, size 40. I haven't washed this, so I should probably do that before it goes up. But it's, the, the lettering is pristine right there. Uh, that's a really nice find. Um, this is a really nice find. Uh, the, the white Dennis Rodman Chicago Bulls, absolutely pristine. There's nothing wrong with this at all. No staining. Um, no staining at all. It's just crisp, as I like to say. Um, if you follow my blog, this was probably one of the crazier finds I've had in a really long time. It's a player issued vintage 1993 Sacramento Kings champion shooting shirt. Um, so it's got... Uh, the Kings patch embroidered right there, NBA logo 46. Uh, you can see tailored for the Sacramento Kings. On the back, it's got Sacramento right there. If uh, you check my blog, soulfoodsf.blogspot.com, I linked this shooting shirt to a, a really cool picture of a Steph Curry, Dell, Don Nelson, and Mitch Richmond. So check that out. All right, got this vintage Georgetown Hoyas starter script crew neck. Starter on the sleeve, really nice condition, it's a size large. Um, yeah, starter right there. That was really nice. Uh, this is a very average condition, but I would still rock it. Or I wouldn't, but condition-wise I would rock it. It's a Raiders 1991, so this would be LA Raiders. Logo 7, um, it's a size large. There's uh, some minor cracking, but it, it gives it some, some vintage flavor. Uh, the cotton's still really nice though. Grab that, this all white San Jose Sharks crew neck, um, size XL, looks uh, mid 90s. Got a couple really nice jackets. Uh, this vintage San Jose Sharks parka pullover half zip. Um, it is a size large. Um, looks, the only thing wrong with it, it looks really nice, but there's, I don't even know if you can see it. There's somebody's phone number in there. Um, you might want to call that. Say what's up. Uh, really nice jacket though. Grab that. This was a nice find. I got this at Salvation Army. It's a Starter USA jacket. I'm on the back. It's kind of got the flag stripes on the sleeves, but on the back it's got the huge um, Olympic rings with the flag print right there. And then uh, you got the, the Bugs Bunny holding the torch. Really nice. 
All right, now we're getting into some really high-end stuff. Um, I thought this was just a blank satin jacket to size medium. So I grabbed it and I was like, oh, that's cool. But then when I turned it over, there you go. You got an MTV vintage 80s satin jacket. It's a size medium, nothing on the front. It's by Empire, so made in the USA. Um, but that's just, that's an awesome find right there. Uh, this is a gem. 49ers black satin starter. These are extremely hard to come by. Um, I find the gold ones every now and then, but the black ones I've literally found like two or three in eight to ten years of doing this thrift thing. So it's a size large, 49ers on the back. That's, a, that's a, an amazing find. Uh, this jacket is off the hook. Um, Washington Redskins chalk line letterman. So you got the letterman patch right there, the cream leather sleeves. Uh, it's a size large. It looks, I mean, it's pretty mint. You got the huge Redskins Letterman patchwork on the back. Uh, that's a phenomenal jacket. I mean, I'm not even a Redskins fan, but I could appreciate a good looking jacket. This one's even better looking. This is a LA Kings chalk line Letterman. Um, you got the huge Letterman patch right there. Chalk line size large. You got the black leather sleeves that are crispy. Um, this jacket is absolutely gorgeous. The buttons, look how glossy those are. On the back you got the Kings right there. So this is a size large. Oh, the only thing that's noticeably wrong with it, you can't really, oh, you might be able to see it. it. The colors faded on the back from like being in the sun or something. But even with that, that jacket is crazy. All right, a couple trinkets. Um, I don't wear earrings, I don't have my ears pierced, but some girl would like this. I know Seattle's got some super swagged out girls. You got uh, some vintage Seahawks helmet earrings. Uh, this was really sick. It's a brand new Troop fanny pack. So it's like all leather. It's got the Troop crown, Troop embroidery right there. Man, some, some of this vintage hip hop stuff just is crazy tight. That's a great find. And um, we got this grandma golf hat. I actually wear these hats golfing 49ers. Um, really nice condition. Uh, San Francisco Giants sports specialty visor. This one actually has the tags. So this will be probably my new golf visor. Um, the snaps were all right. Nothing too, too crazy. Uh, this is a dead stock A's trucker. Branded with the tags by Anko. Uh, with that I found this one. 49ers kind of Anko script. I guess you can say. I'm branded with the tags. Those are like late 80s. Those are cool. I found one of these before, but the snap was messed up. Now I found a pretty much near dead stock Hideo Nomo Dodgers snap. Uh, green under. It's by Nutmeg or American Needle, it says. And it's pretty white on the inside. I don't like the Dodgers, but Hideo Nomo was a, a, a really crazy pitcher. I mean, his style was crazy. I uh, grabbed this. I haven't had a chance to watch wash it yet. Sacramento Kings Sports Specialties. Um, all purple, purple snap, green under, Sports Specialties. Pretty white. I need to wash it, but um, that's a nice find. Uh, grab this. I think it might be dead stock without the tags because it still has the, the little plastic thing, but Super Bowl Champions, Logo Athletic. Got the Super Bowl patch on the back, green under, Logo Athletic. Nice. I grabbed this yesterday, Seattle Seahawks, Logo Athletic, it's a Velcro back, Pro Line it still has the sticker on it, so I'm pretty sure this is brand new, it's a really nice find, grabbed this yesterday too, uh, San Jose Sharks, I actually really like this hat, um, the teal, it's an all teal, CCM, got the old shark fin right there, teal snap, green under, by CCM, it's still pretty white, I might wash it just a little bit, but um, this hat... The camera doesn't really do it. This this aqua is crazy in person. Really bright. Uh, vintage Florida Gators sports specialties. Um, blue snap, green under. A little dirty, need to wash that. Uh, this is probably the best hat find. I haven't washed it, I found this the other day. It's a Detroit Red Wings Logo 7 splash. Red snap, um, Logo 7 right there. That's not, that's like a, a storage stain. That's not from wear. So you can see um, this pretty much nowhere on this put at all. But um, 
Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's really a, a gorgeous hat. All right, so some of these shoes are crazy. Um, I grabbed these Old Spice SBs. They're size 13. Um, I cleaned them up a little bit. You can see the insole is still really good. Uh, I grabbed these for 15 bucks. The stars are still pretty much there. Um, that's a great shoe. Uh, perfect to scale. Oh, that's the only problem right there. That got um, taken off. But like, you get the gold. These look like some USA type of Olympic shoes. These are awesome. I really like these. I wish they were size 12. I would have kept them. Uh, grab some Neon 95s. These are size 7.5. These were 20 bucks. They're from 2009. So this is the 2009 edition. Uh, really nice. There's slight wear put on the plastic right there. But um, Neon 95s are a classic shoe. Um, if you don't have a pair, you should definitely get one. These are a great looking shoe. So I grabbed those. Uh, these I thought were going to be a phenomenal find, but they're kind of messed up. These are size 6Y, some Carolina patent leather ones. The Jumpman wings, Jordan wings, the hologram fell off. But on this one, it's still, you can see it right there. Look how crispy that is. Um, light wear on the shoes. Um, the toe boxes are a little creased. The um, stars are pretty good. Still semi-icy. It's a, a little dirty, but that's a great pair of shoes. Um, these were my beaters of the week. Got some Aqua 8s. I got these for $2. Um, really, this you, you're looking at this, shows nothing. I should post a picture. They were covered in dirt, like pretty much destroyed. And you can see the cracking right there. These were beat, beat to hell. Um, the, the drag on these is crazy. There's, there's a lot of wear put on these, but they're size 12, and I may or may not keep them. These are authentic, in case you're wondering. There's toe box creasing. Um, but for $2, who's going to pass up a pair of Aqua 8s for $2? That's just crazy to me. Like, look at the drag right there. You can see the rubber coming through. But those might be my new beaters. This was definitely the find of probably the month, the last couple of months for me. Um, we'll go look. These are some Space Jams. These are from 2000. These are not the, the new retros. These are size 8.5. So I got these at the thrift the other day for $19.96, so 20 bucks for some Space Jams. The soles are yellowed, but the drag on them is not bad at all. The toe box is creased, but overall, these are still pretty good. You can see, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, there's the, the sale sticker right there, $19.96. These are authentic. You can't show the tag, but you got the Jumpman Jam right there. That's absolutely crazy. And I have the video of this, so I might post the video to show you guys me actually at the thrift store finding these. Um, I was glad I had my, uh, my camera with me. So these were an amazing find. Um, pretty much all this stuff is for sale. So if you want something, hit me up. Um, thank you for watching. Shout out to all my subscribers. We got a ton of stuff to get out of here. If you guys want some vintage goodness, um, hit me up. I'll try to hook some people up. Um, thank you for watching. Shout out to all my subs. Soul Food SF, I'm out.